building software is a collaborative effort. The whole team needs to work uh, together. Engineers do not work in silos. Engineers work with other people. For that, I think you need to have a tool to collaborate together as a team, and Miro comes in place perfectly. Product managers, marketeers, designers, engineers, they all want to build something, but they all speak different languages. To execute for our role, everyone uses their own tools. Miro is kind of the central tool where they, okay, this is what we're trying to build from a design perspective, and then you start getting into the feature perspective, and then you get to the technical and so on and so forth. A lot of times you don't want to jump into technical implementation details. The best ideas sometimes come from non-technical people. You have to use a language that everyone can understand. And Miro is the perfect tool to do that. They start ideating, building flows, diagramming, and then people will branch out, have design documents, have uh, metrics and OKRs, whatever comes out of this initiative, it always starts with Miro. Every engineer needs to think before building stuff. Whenever I have this incomplete idea or it's just a thought, or even I'm having a discussion with someone that we'd like to visualize somehow, in Miro it's quite open. And I think that way you can really put your ideas in different ways. And you don't really have to think of the format, whatever is in your mind you can put in there and then eventually structure things in a better way. We use uh, a mirror board for pair programming. We use the code, the snippet tool, to discuss the approach, brainstorm about how to write code together. Or we design a complex algorithm, or we can sketch out just the planning of a project. This helps to have the whole solution in one place. You can immediately see if what you have in mind is going to work or not. And this process helps us uh, learn from each other, align better with each other, and it brings more fun into that process of uh, pair programming. I use a lot of times uh, diagramming, uh, flowcharts, or mind maps to explain a technical solution, a design of a software. Engineers reason in terms of diagrams. When you see a flow in front of you in a diagram, this is where things can be more critical and people can have ideas and opinions on how services, data sources, the parts of the cloud, how they interact and what is the existing state and what is the target state. So in my previous company, we had to create a really complex uh, diagram, a sitemap of a website. You had to do a lot of manual work, moving everything around. One day, we all jumped on a mirror board. And for me, it was a really life-changing experience. Everything was super easy to create diagrams, to move lines. You could move one shape on the board, and one of your colleagues would move another one, and everything would sift together. So that experience was for me the moment that I thought, okay, I cannot use any of the other tools anymore. <laughs> for our team, we use mirrors specifically for retros. A lot of times we use uh, different retrospective templates. They always have a different angle to things, and it's always very refreshing for the team. But during retrospective, we use a private mode a lot to make sure everyone writes down their input in an anonymous way. Timers are really good to make sure that we're following the schedule, that nothing is uh, being ignored. We use voting uh, when our retrospective uh, ends, where we vote over action items for the next time. When you're trying to achieve something, presenting results of an experiment with stakeholders or have a workshop with the whole team, this is when it's the combination of features that really make your life easier. A lot of tools can do the same thing, but instead of using Mira, I'll have to use five other products. The special thing about Mira is bringing all of these together. The ease of use of the tool. It's just, it makes life much easier.